Welcome to Mr. UFC Vegas Fight Club TV. I'm Kyle, your host. And are any of you interested in a fight between Anderson Silva and Roy Jones Jr.? Before we get into that, I want to remind everybody to subscribe, like, and comment to this channel. First 50 people that do that get into a giveaway, and we are giving away $50 of cryptocurrency. So if you do that, you're involved. Who doesn't like any free money? So, are you interested in this fight? My quick answer is, fuck no. Uh, doesn't make any sense uh, at all to any capacity. Uh, you've got a guy in Roy Jones Jr. who is retiring, or who just retired and just fought. And then you've got Anderson Silva who was caught twice with PEDs recently and uh, pretty much is banned from the UFC. Not really sure uh, how that commingles into a super fight. Um, but I guess they're trying to ride the coattails of a Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor fight, and, and uh, obviously that is a two different, completely different stratospheres of fighters. You've got Conor McGregor, two division champion. You've got Floyd Mayweather, uh, I guess was the champion, but undefeated goat of boxing. Um, okay, worth it. Makes a lot of sense to an extent uh, to make money. This one, I don't really see any money that will be made off of this fight. Uh, I, ju I really just believe that why not to them? You look at you, you look at Roy Jones Jr. and you look at Anderson Silva and where the heck are they going with their careers at this point? Roy Jones Jr. does a great job uh, as an analyst. Anderson Silva, uh, I don't really know what he's going to be doing at this point. I'm sure he's got uh, side money somewhere through his career, but I, I, it just doesn't make sense to me. I, I uh, really looking at it from from just the standpoint of. Would the UFC want this? Do they care at all? The only thing that does is very odd to me is the fact that the UFC just had Ray Jones Jr. final fight on their app, which their app is a great app, by the way. Um, terrific app. If you're looking to just watch old footage to handicap uh, uh, fights coming up, which I do all the time, is a great app. has all the fights on there. Easy to search. Great app. But... Um, when I was doing some research for a past fight on there, I looked and it was like Roy Jones Jr.'s fight, you know, in a week or whatever, and it has passed it now. It has passed it this time. But I was looking, I'm like, why would they do that? And now a lot of this is starting to get legs where they're saying, hey, maybe they could fight each other. Maybe they would fight. And now Anderson Silva's come out and said, it would be my dream to fight Roy Jones Jr. I know in the past, very long time ago, they had talked about, or not talked about, but maybe there was just rumors that what if they fought? It was kind of, hey, you know, at the time, Silva was at the top of the game, Roy Jones was at the top of the game, and Roy Jones at the time was, was just a beast in, 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 uh, in boxing. It, 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 MMA was not that big at that point. I guess it was big, but not to the extent that it is now mainstream, and it just never came to, uh, came to light. Now they're talking about it. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, a, it's just a, a sad story. Uh, for Anderson Silva, who I, you know, grew up watching. I, I really followed his career, and then even up until the point where he fought Chris Weidman and lost the title. At that point, up until that point, he was unbeatable. I mean, people were saying, how, how do you beat this guy? I mean, Silva was, was that guy who just seemed unbeatable. I mean, it was his run on wins was unbelievable. You know, and then he loses there. He loses again to Weidman, and Weidman breaks his leg, and then the PED uh, allegations come out, and all these, and then it just starts to spiral out of control. To uh, last week, he was on his Twitter account, and he was dressed in women's clothes, dancing and twerking. Not really sure what, not really sure what happened there, but something, uh, something wasn't right. So now he's talking about this fight. Makes no sense. I think it's it's a horrible, horrible decision. Um, but there you have it. So let me know what you guys think. Do you, would you pay to see this fight? Do you care to see this fight? Is it free? Would you even watch it? Let me know what you guys think down below. Comment, like, subscribe. And don't forget, we're giving away $50 of cryptocurrency. Hit my music!